Hey there, Jono here. Welcome back to a brand new playthrough series, only we're going to be playing quite possibly my favorite Paradox game. Uh, we're going to be playing Imperator Rome. I know it's like kind of a dead game and no one really plays this on YouTube, but I'm going to do it anyway just because, man, I really love this game. This, this might be my favorite Paradox game. And uh, we're going to be playing as the Bosporan Kingdom. Uh, Bosporan? Bosporan? I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Uh, they're kind of interesting. They're basically Hellenized uh, uh, Scythians, basically. They were kind of like... Um, they were Scythians who worshipped the Greek pantheon, I believe. Uh, Greek pantheon of gods. And they formed their own monarchy. In real life, I think they would become... Uh, a client state of Rome after a while and for a long time actually and then then they you know when Rome uh, receded a bit they would eventually become uh, subjects again under the Byzantines I think Emperor Justinian ended up taking them over uh, but they have kind of an interesting history and I'm gonna try to take uh, control of them this time and maybe maybe create our own empire here and and do what they never did and uh, maybe just take control of this entire sea, the Black Sea here, and maybe even more so. Maybe eventually war with Rome, should it come to that. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, get underway. If you uh, enjoy this kind of content, please like and subscribe and comment if you so wish. And let's get to it, shall we? So I guess the first thing we should do is take care of these free slots right here. Uh, we got some military ideas. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with morale of armies. That sounds quite useful. Uh, commerce income or build cost. Build cost sounds kind of nice. And... See, I'm kind of torn between country civilization level going up 5% or ruler popularity gain. That sounds... Ruler popularity gain, especially early on in the game, sounds really nice. So I'm going to go with that. We got a omen... What do we want? Maybe I will go for... We'll get the civilization chain one here. We'll go for Lipo... Lipo Zeiss. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm probably not doing it justice. So we got eight, eight innovations we can pick right off the bat. So I'm probably going to stick with the religious advances first. I kind of have a tendency to go the beeline towards prescribed cannon first. Then I like to go down and get work my way down to bread stamp to get the uh, population growth and then down to exported drama I might make a pit stop in oratory get some key text here uh, you know get things like you know we want uh, gradual economic integration to get that grand theater building at some point we're also gonna have to work our way to cohorts probably not for a little while yet but uh, okay so yeah maybe I'll just start with this do process Accepted rights. We open religion so we get the uh, great temple building. That's a really good tech early on. Unintegrated culture, happiness, yeah. Uh, what is it? Minor synchronism, really, really good. Divine uh, sacrifice cost, really good. And we will get the prescribed canon tech. So with our last two, I'm going to get the FUG. That gives us integrated culture, happiness. And I will get herbalism. Get a little food bonus and after that our next wave of text i'll probably go down this way like that maybe even pick up scribe just to get that uh, civilization change so we do need a marriage for our ruler where do i want to start for that the antagonists are probably going to get eaten up at some point so i could try to marry someone from this kingdom over here let's see Is there anyone in my age group? You're not married. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a f make friends with you. And we need a commander for our fleet. So uh, you're not very loyal. Uh, yeah, you know you'll be fine. We also need some trade routes. Uh, we do start off with some uh, like we already have the cloth. Or to, you know, we already have the surplus of cloth in our capital, which is really nice. So I'm going to go start off by maybe getting some grain. 
to get some food modifiers going. Then, let's see, what do I want to focus on next? Fruits would be really nice to get a loyalty of characters, bonus, honey potentially, but I might go with glass. Glass is really nice. And let's start this mission tree here. Excellent. So for the next 240 months, we get a aggressive expansion bonus as well as a ruler popularity gain. Okay. Let's start this little uh, mission right here. And so in order to finish this, I need to work down over this way. Okay. And... Help conquer a historically Greek port in the Black Sea held by non-Greeks. Okay. So I might want to start by getting some claims. Could go for Ziggia right off the bat. Moesha. Where is Moesha? These guys right here. Let's get this one right here. And now we probably want some alliances. We need at least one alliance. Who am I going to get for that? Armenia is not too interested. Scythia is not too interested. Seracia looks okay. They have a decent amount of people. Maybe I will pick an alliance with them. So, uh, yeah, I might just right off the bat here. I might just pick a fight right off the bat. So I'm going to raise my levies right off the bat. And... Oh, I have to wait till November. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. We'll just unpause it. So here we go. Hopefully this uh, marriage thing works out here. Oh, I forgot. I have to uh, accept all trades so I don't have to deal with this every time. State has deep pockets. I will have you, my fleet, sit to destroy pirates should they ever show up. Okay, so now I believe you guys are already in alliance with who? Syndica? Which one's Syndica? These guys right here. Okay, so yeah, I think. My guys will, my allies will come and help me here, so I'm going to just go right off the bat and go right at them. You're not very loyal. That's fine. We will send our troops in. Oh, we can actually purchase a, uh, a port from someone. Who do we want to purchase from someone? Let's see. They are unlikely to accept. They are likely to accept. From who? Who is that? And you are also likely to accept. Hmm. You're a little bit more pricey. I'll go for it. So where did that, where did that, did it, did it work? I don't know if it did. Well, it looks like they, uh, it looks like they denied it. Anyway, not a big deal. Okay, so we're just going to siege this place down. Our allies are coming in to help us out. I am going to help this lady out with her, with this, uh, yeah, I'm going to just uh, pay the price for her tyranny. Really hope she accepts. Oh, no, wait a minute, no. Oh, yes, she does. Excellent. Okay, she does have the blood of Antigonus. I forgot to actually double check that. Okay, I'm going to inspire disloyalty and recruit her. And if I arrange marriage, she should be there. There she is. Excellent. So hopefully they start having kids and we will have the blood of Spartacids and the blood of the Antigonids already in our dynasty. So 
I am going to split this troop up, actually, and send them over here. It says that we should probably be able to win. It looks like we are going to win, even though we do have a disadvantage. But we are going to win this fight. We will take this land right back. I'm going to send them over here. Let me help out with this siege. I mean, yeah, this siege is being done by our ally. That's fine. Okay, so the siege should be done fairly soon. You should go back. They're, 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 they're attacking your place now. You should go back, defend your own land, let me handle the siege. Let's see, do I want to fabricate a claim? Maybe not quite just yet. Let the loot, looting be gentle. So I will send my guys over here, help out with this siege. This should be relatively quick. Oh, they looks like they stack wiped them over here. Assume control. Can I do that? Oh, I can do that. I wasn't sure if I could. So now, if I win this siege, will I take control of this territory instead of my allies? Hopefully. We'll see. Looks like the uh, Diodaci Wars are starting to break out. Yep, looks like the Antigonids are already at war with Macedon, as well as the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. Hopefully this... Okay, there we go. So this siege is now done. And I believe... Yeah, I will just pause. And I will take it all for myself. Don't mind if I do. Sweet. Excellent. Okay, so I will disband the levies. And... I might go right ahead and fabricate a claim on these guys right here. In fact, what are you, siphoning funds? No, I want you to scheme influence. I want you to get some extra influence. We need a governor for this territory that we just took over here. This guy will do. Looks like the Seleucids are now involved. As always, I think the Antigonids are going to get carved apart here. Are you still somewhat disloyal? So you are upset about... Yeah, I ignored your request during the council objective there. So now these guys here are considering breaking our alliance. I am going to let them, should they? And I might instead try to build something. I, I was thinking about sending them some cash, but instead I am going to build an academy. Thrace, I think Thrace has now gotten involved. So all of Alexander's kingdoms here are really going at it. Okay. So what kind of missions can we do? I mean, we're going to have to work our way this way, this way, I think. It's going to be a little while before we can take them. These guys are my subjects? I was going to declare one of them. These are my subjects. Oh, I didn't even realize. Let's see. Hinochia. In Eochia. Did someone just invite us into a league? 
you want to invite us into a league. I um, don't know how to say this, but I kind of am fabricating a claim on you guys right now. Yeah, I might declare. I might. Uh, I might say no to that because I kind of. If I look at their, they are boss warren. Their dominant culture is boss warren. So if I take this land for myself, that would simply add itself to my levies and make my levies that much stronger. I kind of want that. Sorry. Hopefully, Scythia does not get involved. They are at war with these guys over here. <laughs> Looks like the Basilius of Macedon has gotten fallen ill. Seracia is now at war with someone. Who are they at war with? Moatia. Interesting. Uh, they were considering breaking our alliance, but maybe this could be a decent thing. Okay, yeah, I will join them in this war, and I will raise the levies once more. I might even... No, I won't raise all of my levies. I will split you in half. I'll send you over here. Or no, I will send you over here instead. I'll send half of them this way, half of them up here. Okay. See, there is some. Um, there is a scandal in our government. Is this Spartacus? That's my name. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll just fire that guy. Rather fire him than uh, have him be incredibly disloyal. So who are we at war with? Just Moesha? Okay. I'll send you guys up here. I wonder, can we take control of this siege? Just like we did before? As soon as my guys get over there? Oh, okay, I can only do it if I'm the war leader. I'm not the war leader here. So this is probably going to go to Seracia should they win this war. Are these guys involved? Looks like they are involved. Okay, then maybe I will send my guys up here and try to start a siege over here. But it says we're only at war with. Oh no, Rox Roxolania is actually part of. Uh, is on our side. Never mind. Okay. So that that has ended the siege, which means this war should be just about over. I think. Right. Okay, yeah, this, the war is now over. Did we get it? We did actually, oh, uh, how nice of them. Our allies gave us this little land up here because we were occupying it. So, we could gain the trait just, which is, affects our stability change, or shrewd, which affects army, mercenary army maintenance. I'm going to go with just. I like the uh, stability change. So, I will disband our levies. I believe. Where are they? No. Oh, now we have an opportunity to introduce another royal family. We have four? Or no, that's the Antigonid royal family. Let's click on ours. We have three royal families, so who do we want? The Admiral? No. Someone who is loyal and not particularly too powerful right now. Uh, yeah, okay, Nicandros. 
I didn't see them added. There they are. Okay, so we might want to put one of them in the government. There we go. Uh, we have unused trade. Oh, wow. Okay. I might go with some... Stone is very useful. That reduces the cost of building. Could go with fruits to increase the loyalty of characters. No, that's fine the way it is. I said I might get some iron. Iron is very useful. So pretty soon, we will have a claim on Trisonesis. Our, our brethren over here, we who invited us into a defensive league, but I instead have other plans. Okay. Oh, wow. Our allies are actually being attacked by Legia over here. If they come in, if they ask me for uh, help there, I might say no to that. Okay, so we have our claim, but I can't raise my levies until January 1st of their... No, January 16th. That's it, yeah. So I might just sit tight for now. I might, do I want to build anything? I'm not really making too much money. I don't have that much money, so I might just sit tight for now. I could maybe build a marketplace or a library... But I'm not going to just spend all my money just yet. Pretty soon we are about to go to war in on just under one month. Our allies are seemingly... I think they're doing okay. Let's see. Who's the war leader? I think Roxelania is the uh, the war leader here. Okay, so it is, Jan it is actually January 30th. I am going to... Raise my levies. And I think I will declare our war. Seracia will help us. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna call them actually. I don't think I need them. Time to go to war. And we will send our our levies in right into their capital. I will invite him to an exclusive banquet, that's fine. Okay, I am going to turn... Oh. Let's see, if I could turn the other cheek and I gain the trait wise, what does that give me? That gives me monthly statesmanship, finesse, a permanent finesse bonus is really nice, as well as uh, national citizen output. That's a really nice trait to have. I'm going to send you guys over here. My other half of my levies. This siege will probably take a little while. Their levies are coming up over here. It says that we should win this battle. Our side might win. We do outnumber them. And it looks like we are winning. The Olympic Games have just started. Okay, I will send Cleomenes. Cleomenes. Okay, we won that fight. And this siege is making progress. That was a good roll just there. We could weed out some of the pirates here, and I think I will. I could get either a bonus to my morale of armies or my morale of navies. I'm going to go with armies. That sounds a little more useful. Okay, we will... Take this territory right here, and we will just wait for them to come back, and we should stack wipe them here. And we have. Excellent. And I might even... Well, no, I'm not going to just hit up this city here. I do plan on ruling it. I'm, I'm not going to just destroy it. So this siege is going pretty good. There is a breach. I could order an assault, but I could just wait it out.
Our guy did not win the Olympic Games, but we still get a popularity bonus for it. Okay, this should end pretty soon, I think. Is our guy still scheming here? Oh, it looks like uh, this guy has got pneumonia now. The leader of, or the heir of the Macedons. Yeah. He's got a lung disease or something? I'm not sure. Is this war still going here? Yeah, it looks like. Thrace is also at war with Odrysia as well as the Antigonus. I wonder how they're going to handle that. Let's see what's going on. Is Rome doing anything yet? Rome's just chilling. They will expand, I'm sure. Okay, this, this siege is taking a little while. I'm just going to assault, and it should end pretty soon. And it does. We will let the looting be gentle. Just let that uh, fill out there, and we will sue for peace. We will take this territory. Oh no, actually, I'm going to wait for this uh, naval battle because... We could potentially gain some ships here. Do we take any of them? No, we just destroyed. Oh yes, we did. We took one of their ships. So we now our fleet is now 15 in strength. Okay, now I will sue for peace. I will take this territory. We will put the royal families to the sword. We will disband our levies, and I believe, yeah, our levies are now increased greatly. That is really nice. So let's see here. When can I summon a war council? Not for a little while yet. See, I would like to maybe think about getting rid of dissolving this alliance so I could take this land here. I would like to go after Colchis, but they are allied to Albania. But maybe our allies will come and help us for that. So I'm going to... I'm going to fabricate a claim, I believe, for their territories. Like so. We now have more opportunity for trade. I will take full advantage of that. Uh, let's see, do I want commerce income or loyalty? I might go with the income for now. Yeah, we'll do that again. So now we have that bonus for income. That's really nice. Let's see how much we were making. 1.32 a month. Does that do anything? 1.52. Okay, that's something. So this war is looking like it's pretty one-sided here. Roxolania looks like it's coming out ahead. Kind of want to work my way this way so I can get the uh, so I can get the uh, the uh, missions here. Probably take Colchis out in one war. Now it looks like they want to dissolve this alliance. We'll see if they do. I'm not gonna improve relations too much. But, uh, oh, is there another, is there a barbarian something happening right now? Oh, Ge something happening in Geisha over here. Okay. Well, you know what? I might put a cut in here. Uh, on, if, assuming the, all these um, events stop happening. The Gauls in Anatolia. Oh, interesting. Okay, I am going to uh, put a cut in here for now. Uh, this has been a pretty eventful episode. Uh, we did a few things. We expanded the borders. It looks like our allies are going to break up with us here, which is uh, a little unfortunate. We'll have to find a replacement for them. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoy this, please like and subscribe and uh, comment if you so wish. And I will see you all on the next one. Take care.